Welcome back to Bounce Around Savannah. Well, we're here at Ledesma Sports Medicine today. I'm excited to introduce Miss uh, Donna McMahon, who is one of the physical therapists here. And you do a lot of work. You're the professional when it comes to mobility issues. So tell me about some of the people who come here and you work with. So it's anybody that has any type of movement disorder. So that is just a broad term for anybody who has Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, uh, stroke victim, spinal cord injury, brain injury. Really, if it involves the brain or the spinal cord, mm -hmm. you might have a movement disorder, and that's what we treat. So, and we work with balance, uh, gait training, transfers, everything. Tell me a little bit about Michelle and, and how she started and what you all are doing now. So Michelle suffered a stroke about a year and a half ago now. And I met her uh, at the end of May, and since then uh, we've been really working on walking. Her first year of rehab was more about learning how to get home, basic transfers, getting mm -hmm. it out of a car, in and out of bed. But once she was well enough and she had enough recovery, it was time to start walking again. What? So as soon as I met her, it was time to go. Uh, this harness system has really made it happen. Uh, before we would have to have two people really hold on to her and walk and it's just not as functional mm -hmm. But with the harness system and a treadmill you can really get that repetition It's more natural because you don't normally walk with two people holding your hands. Right, right So now she's kind of on her own and she can kind of feel what that's like Isn't that beautiful you two together have been doing some great things on on this harness. You've come a long way A long way. Wow, do you think that you would be where you are today if it weren't for this program? No Wow. Well, let me do this. Let's stop talking and let's show people what you can do and let everybody just remember that not so long ago you weren't walking at all. Okay. All right. There you go. Mm -hmm. that chest up nice and proud. Very good. So Michelle originally started and I was having to sit on a stool and actually move her leg for her. And then she started moving it on her own and weight shifting by herself. And then we progress to actually walking over ground, like she said. We're actually mm -hmm. we're learning how to walk with a cane, which is a big deal, at least in household distances, which is huge when you think about getting dressed on your own, living on your own, mm -hmm. preparing meals. That's hard to do when you always have two hands on a walker. Right. So right. this would drastically improve her quality of life, mobility, and independence. Since your stroke, I mean, when you're walking like that, it looks like it's very easy for you. Mm -hmm. Is it a lot of concentration you have to do in order to keep those feet going the way? That they have? But since I've got my brace, mm -hmm. it's easier. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Good. Because before, it's actually good that you brought it up, because before you can see when she, you got it? Good recovery, girl. Okay. And that's, that's a perfect example of why the harness is great, because mm -hmm. they can learn to recover. I don't have to jump on them. That was mm -hmm. a natural balance reaction, a natural riding reaction. Um, that otherwise, when we're out and about, I just hold on to her, and her body doesn't have a chance to react and recover. Right. In order to learn how to hold your balance, you've got to lose your balance, too. 